Um, for anyone that hasn't played Splunky, um, it's a fun game. It's a fun, it's a fun video game. Um, so Splunky too, for people that haven't played, pretty simple game. The goal is get money, dig very deep, go down. The further down you go, the de more dangerous it gets. Defeat the final boss, escape, and get your high score, basically. Um, now, we're not going to be playing that type of game, though. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing for the secret true ending. The secret true ending in Splunky is one of the more challenging video game things to do. One of the more challenging video game feats. Um, it requires quite a few steps. And if any single step is fucked up at any point in time, the run is bricked, okay? Bricked, not in the transgender sense, but in the sense of it can no longer be completed. So, I am just simply going to f fuck around a little bit here. Get, see if I can get any money. And leave. We have a shopkeeper with good stuff in the shop here. So this is very good. Unfortunately, I got a little unlucky with the spawn here. Meaning I'm going to have to use a bomb right away. <sighs> Terrifying. Truly quite fearsome. But it worked out just fine. So from this level, what I need to get is inside of this chest up here. So I need to get the item that's inside that chest. In order to get that item, I have to find a golden key on this level. Um, and then bring it to the chest. Which I can do fairly easily, I hope. There's the golden key, so I'm going to put the dog down. If you bring the dog to the end of the level, you get plus one health. Health in this game is... This is kind of annoying. I might have to use a rope here. I probably do have to use the rope. I can also probably get it without a rope, but the thing is, time is... Not exactly worthless in this game. Oh my god, I feel like I can get it, but... Let's just use the rope. Okay. Time is not exactly worthless in this game, so I won't fuck around for too much longer. I'll just go over here. I use the golden key to open this chest. I get an item called the Ujat Eye. Ujat Eye is very cool. It lets you see items through walls, like these gems. I can see inside of walls now. In fact, this is really gold efficient to blow up, so I'm going to do it. It's not often that I would do that, but that's a lot of money for one bomb, so... I am going to do that, that right there. Uh, this pot is called the Ghost Pot. I'm going to just try and get out of here alive, just without getting hit. Um, at the end of each level, not at the end of each level, each level has a three minute soft uh, lock on the timer. Once you reach the three minute mark, a ghost will spawn. The ghost will chase you down. If the ghost touches you, he instantly kills you. <gasps> this is kind of fucked. In fact, I might just leave, because the ghost is going to spawn here. I'll show you him. But if he touches you, he instantly kills you. You can see inside my eyes. Um, that pot that I had, the ghost pot, if it breaks, it spawns the ghost regardless of time. So, I'm going to just kill this caveman. And then I'm going to team this turkey. The turkeys are good because they have a... There was an enemy behind that. Are you kidding me? The turkeys are good because they have a double jump. Um, and they also have a glide. 
so they f they still fall as well. So quite useful actually for mobility reasons. Um. There's a guy who wants his turkeys. <laughs> this is hard to explain. Yeah, there's a man called Yang, and Yang wants turkeys. I'm gonna have to somehow survive. There's Yang. He wants turkeys. That's like his thing. He likes. He wants his turkeys. I'm gonna get way more bombs because bombs are very useful. But if the turkeys die, he will be sad. There's arrow traps, of course. Arrow traps are motion sensor triggered. Um. I'm just gonna get this. This is gonna activate a trap. Like that. I'm gonna just run away. I'm gonna come down here. If I bring the golden idol to the end of the level, I get 5,000 gold, which is great. The turkeys are right beside Yang, so I'm gonna give them to, to him. And then he's gonna give me a key to get his treasure. So I'm gonna go get Yang's treasure. See what's in here. Bombs. More bombs. Bombs are excellent. I have 26 of them. And crucially, I have an item alongside the bombs called paste. And what paste allows me to do is stick my bombs to walls. That's very important, as we'll see later, because blowing things up downwards is not that challenging. But blowing up stuff upwards is quite challenging. I'm not going to fuck around too much here. I'm going to blow this guy up with a bomb. And then... Get out of here. That's like technically the first boss of the game, I guess. I'm not going to... Um, not going to explain too much about him because he's already dead. Get me out of here. Just get me out of here. Just just let me go. Just let me out of here. Alright. Do I want to watch any Spelunky streamers? Not at all. This is fucked. Okay. This is also fucked. The entire opening of that level is fucked. This is all fucked. Everything about this situation is awful. Everything here. Everything here is awful. I don't even think I can make this jump. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God, please. I'm begging you, holy shit. I'm just putting a bomb down. I don't have time for this. Okay, if I can find a key here, I can rescue my friend Van Helsing. Rescuing Van Helsing, quite useful. Quite a good thing to do. The challenge here is how the fuck am I gonna do that? This whole situation is so fucked. <laughs> okay, where's the key? I'm going to take a turkey. I'm going to take ropes as well. So I don't die. Where's the key? The key is in here. So if I put a bomb here, this should work, okay? We come. This game is trying to kill me. Oh, this game is trying to kill me. Okay. We get on this guy. We come up here. We go in here. We rescue Van Helsing. He gives us a diamond. But we don't care about the diamond. We're just happy to, to rescue him. We, we leave. We get the dog. Because the dog gives us plus one health. We get the fuck out of here. We leave now. Just avoid the lava and fire breathing guys. Please. I 
Amazing. Holy shit. We actually cleared the level pretty well. Look at that. We made it. That's probably the most challenging a level is ever going to be. Well, um, all right, good luck. So with the eyeball that we got in the first, like or the second level of the game, we put the eyeball into this machine. It activates the drill. We use the drill to then go down into like a lower level. Now, unfortunately, there just happened to be a ginormous pool of lava directly underneath the drill, which means now it's going to just be dropping lava constantly into this pit. If lava touches you, as you may expect, lava is a very, very hot liquid. It's molten rock. It's liquid rock. It's rock so hot that it's turned liquid, okay? If lava touches you, you are dead instantly. You die instantly. No amount of health will save you. You are instant, instantly dead. So, the only solution we have here is to just stand here and wait for this lava to keep dripping until eventually it stops dripping. Because if I walk out here, and I have to drop into this pit, of course. If I drop into this pit and then the lava drips onto my head as I'm falling, if that lava touches me, I'm dead. I'm just dead. It's over for me. So I just have to stand here. Now, unfortunately, I have a three minute timer. I have a three minute time limit on this ship. So I have to hope that eventually it stops dripping before the three minute mark. This is so fucked. I don't know if it's gonna stop. It keeps going. It looks like the one on the left is no longer dripping. But the one on the right, I don't know about that one. I don't know when that one's going to stop. All right, after this next drip, I'm going to go down. I'm going to buy boots. And then after that drip, I'm going to, after the drip after that, I'm going to go for it because I don't have any more time left. I'm going to buy all of this. Okay, on the next strip, we go. Please. Please strip. Okay, I can't wait any longer. There it is. Perfect. <sighs> okay, timing's going to be close, but we're going to make it. Right before the three-minute mark, we did it. We're safe. We actually made it. It was close, but we made it. I pick up a clover here. The clover gives me an additional, I believe, two minutes of time on the level before the ghost comes, which is exactly what I need. Fuck, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's fine. I had the health to spare, so it worked out. Here's Dracula. He missed! Okay, well... Okay, we killed him anyway. We got it. We got we got Dracula's cape. We also got um, the crown. The crown is the important item. Now that we have the crown and the cape, we get out of here. We leave. We're done here. We get going. We leave. Goodbye. End of this level. I'm going to bring a turkey with me. <laughs> because they're, they can be useful. Okay, we have one more thing to do on this, on this world, on this lava world. And it is in here, precisely in here. We have to go in here, buy this challenge thing. And then we gotta go get this, it's called the Matic. There's a little pickaxe, okay. And we have to go find a bow and arrow underground which is right here. The bow and arrow is a very important item for later in the run. Not exactly right now, but it's very important for the fi it's the final step of the run. So we have to get it. Once we find it, we can just break the pickaxe. As long as the pickaxe breaks, we're good. I don't like this enemy.
Thank God. So we can just break the pickaxe on, on random items until we're good. Okay, then we get the bow and arrow. We get out of here. Okay, wonderful. <gasps> um, I hope she's not an important character to be alive because if I need her alive and she's dead, I'm going to be very, very upset. Okay? If I need her alive and she's fucking dead, I'm going to be so mad. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. We have everything that we need from this world. We have everything. Now we just need to go. Now we just need to get going. We'll get the turkey. We'll take the turkey with us. Actually, we won't because we can we can, I'm sorry, turkey, but I can cook you and eat you. And I will do that. Okay. Wonderful. Look at that. This is the first, and by first, I mean this is the second boss. This, the, this is the major boss fight, though. It's the most important one. So we just have to blow up a little hole here. Because there's a little guy hiding in here. A little sneaky little guy hiding down here. And we give him the bow and arrow, and he takes it for later. He saves the bow and he saves it for later. And now we have to just defeat this boss in a fight. So it's not that difficult. We just have to get under him, and then he does a slam. So there's no time limit on this fight, so we can be as slow as we want. And it's okay. We can be very slow. And we will be very slow. We will be. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be very safe here. Because I don't wanna die. Okay, that's phase one done. Phase two, the most important phase. Please, do your stupid thing. He's not doing a stupid thing. Okay, just watch out for the bombs. I'm gonna be... Why won't he do a stupid bomb? <laughs> okay. If a bomb hits me, I'm so fucking dead. It's so over. Okay, this is good. So he will do exactly three bombs. Um, like he'll do three bombs each time, but he'll do three waves of three bombs, and then he won't do any more bombs until you break the tel the out the the out the things, whatever the hell they're called, the levitators. You have to break the levitators underneath him before he does any more bombs. So then we break these. Unfortunately for the for the boss, you have to be below him for him to use the bombs, which is very irritating because it means and I don't have the gloves. There's gloves that make this easier, okay? Being underneath him is very frightening. God. Ah. Terrifying. Okay, wonderful. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Okay. Whew. Whew. Oh my god, terrifying. It's okay. 
Oh. Ah. Uh. Wait, he still has more in him? Okay. Just. Okay. Somehow that worked just fine. Okay, this should be, hopefully, the last time that we have to go through this. After this one, I'm going to break him. What's the goal here? So there's three phases. However, the next phase is much... This is the easiest... This is like a stressful phase for, for me right now. But typically speaking, this phase is easier than phase three. So the goal is to have an extended phase two in order to skip phase three. So if everything goes correctly here and I get him to throw enough bombs, once I break this, once I end this phase and he falls to the next section of the game, he should just fall straight into the lava and the phase should end completely. That's the goal, basically. Because as you can see, the bombs will fall all the way down. To the to the layer below this. Okay, I fucked up. I did not mean to to have him land on rocks right there. But as you can see, like the bombs fall all the way down to the next level, which means I just need to hide right here. and not die, and then I can go send him to the final level. And we can, or I can send him down, and we're gonna, we're good. I just need to get underneath him and hit him in a spot where he will fall, like so right over here. Okay, he didn't fall all the way into the lava, but that should be okay, because if I just get him to go like Like this way. There we go. And then he falls into the lava. And we don't have to do phase three. Because phase three is stressful as hell. He has like updated AI on his slams and stuff. Anyway. He lands in the lava. We go in from his head. And we enter here. And then we're going to get a special, a very special item. Why are there so many... <gasps> Why? Whatever. We're going to get the most worthless, most important item. Okay. We go all the way to the top. And we get the Ankh. Now what the Ankh allows us to do is... Thank you so much, Supobs. It allows us to resurrect a single time when we would die. We come back to life with exactly four health. So, we can revive from the dead at some point, which is very useful. So, unfortunately, well, there is a way to skip. There is like a death skip. Um, like there, oh, fuck me. There is a skip for the death, for the, like the, the guaranteed death thing. But, I actually don't know it, so. I think we're good to leave this for already. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. <gasps> Terrifying. This could be a good floor, but it also could be a really risky floor because I don't know if there's going to be enough time for everything I want to do here. So it could be dangerous. <sighs> but I will sacrifice the dog. I will blow this up. Because I forget how much these guys are worth sac being sacrificed. But if I can sacrifice enough of them, I can get a very good important item.
Okay, if I can sacrifice one more, then we should be good. That's okay. I don't mind getting hit there because I'm going to sacrifice. It didn't give me enough? Okay, well, never mind then. This game sucks. I thought that would be worth more. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what I think? Oh, she's still alive. Oh, thank God. Okay. Just get me in here. <sighs> if I can get... Like, one more little corpse thing, I should be good. Oh, this is so annoying. Wait, what did I miss? Okay, thank god. Okay. Ah, I'm a little... concerned about a lot of things here. I don't have a lot of health, which is a concern. I don't see myself killing, um, I don't, I don't like where the exit is. I don't like the location of the exit at all. Um, I'm just gonna pick up the sword, okay? Using, you can only take the sword out of the thing, if you, out of the rock, if you have Excalibur. So, anyway, we're just gonna, we're gonna progress. Okay, I don't have the health here to fuck around. So, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna leave my items at the thingy. I'm gonna leave my items behind because when I die, I can't take them with me. This whole situation is fucked. God. Well, that's the exit, but it's here. Okay, here we go. Whew. Frightening. Okay. We made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. There's Van Helsing. He's gonna wish us luck. We go through here. How many levels are there? Um, world 6-3, I think, is technically... Or 6-4 is technically the final level. Um, we picked this up, by the way, and then the lava thing blows up. And then we die. I see the I see the exit. It's like right above, like here. So I gotta just keep that in mind. We revive though, and now we pick our items back up that we strategically left behind. Um, I'm not gonna fuck around here. There was like it was frightening getting done. So let's just be careful. I'm not going to fuck around with anything right now. I have bombs to use. No! It's over. It's so freaking over. I don't have health anymore. I can't get the dog. <gasps> that killed me or that hit me. Oh, it's so ogre. It's so over. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm just gonna run out of health. Is the problem here. At least I'll show you the next boss, but I think I'm out of health. Anyway, you land here. Um, and this door is only open because of the, the lava that we dropped. So this is the only way to get here. Ugh, that sucks so much. Then there's a boss in here, which I don't have the health to defeat. But if you go up here, you can see him on the wall. And you're meant to land on him. Did I die from fall damage? Apparently I did. It's over. It's fine. I don't think I could have beat the boss anyway. With one health. But good for good run. Good run. Good effort. Basically, you can only break the shell on his back if you have a sword. If you have the, the sword. And you can only get the sword if you have the crown. 
and you can only get the crown if you get the eye and you get the eye at the start of the game so you go eye crown or sorry eye yeah crown sword break his back he gives you a tablet once you get the tablet from his back you use the tablet to find a vase then from the vase a vase hatches a flying dog then you ride the flying dog past the final boss the final boss you take the flying dog and you fly up in the room that the final boss fight happens you fly way above her then you take a rocket from above her to the fucking moon or something or off the moon to some other i don't know you get in a rocket and you fly away and you end up in a secret final world then in the secret final world you get the bow and arrow that you stored earlier in the run. You re-get the bow and arrow, which you find there. Then you complete a challenge to unlock an arrow of light. Then you get the bow and arrow plus the arrow of light and you defeat the true final boss. And then once you defeat the true final boss with the bow and arrow, it has to be that specific bow, by the way. With the bow, with the specific arrow of light as well, so it has to be a specific bow and a specific arrow, and you have to get to the secret final boss and defeat the secret final boss, and then when the final boss dies, you shoot him in an in his eye with the bow and arrow, and it opens a portal that takes you to a thing called like it's like the cosmic fucking the cosmic galaxy. And then you go through the Cosmic Galaxy portal. And then, if you do all of that, and you get to the Cosmic World, you have to beat 99 levels in a row. And if you beat 99 levels in a row, you get the true ending. <laughs> so. Yeah. They also, um don't spawn dogs anymore in those levels. They also have an enemy called the Cosmic Jellyfish, um, which is kind of like the ghost that you remember from earlier that spawns at three minutes. It's kind of like the ghost. However, it's like the ghost on steroids. And in order to exit the world, each each world, or each level of the final level of the cosmic levels, each level has three little like ball, like bulbs or something on it. Three little cosmic jellies, cosmic bu bubbles. Okay, and the cosmic jellyfish sits in front of the exit door, and the only way to exit is to break the bubbles, which causes the jellyfish to become active and hunt you down in the level by going like whoosh, whoosh, and it's super fast and super angry. And you have to do this on every single level 99 times in a row. And if you do all of that, all of that, you get the true ending. Just got to do it 99 times. And as you can see from me playing, I got to level 4-4, four four. Um, level 1, world 1 has 4 levels, so 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 1-4, so 4 levels, world 2 has 4 levels, so 8, world 3 is not a part of the, it does, it's, a, it's a boss fight, so um, like 8 levels there, world 4 has 4 levels, so what are we at, 12 now? World five is just a inter is like a inter inter like an interlude level. So what is that? What are we at now? We're at we're at thirteen levels so far. And then world six is three levels, or I guess four technically four. So in order to beat the entire game normally, the final to beat the final boss, you have to survive like seventeen levels. And that's really challenging. 17 levels is pretty challenging. So they make you do that 99 times. 
and it's harder than the regular levels. It's so uh, crazy. I'm never gonna beat this game, but my dream is my dream with Spelunky is to one day beat the um is to one day beat the final boss and shoot him with the arrow of light. That's my that would be like my um like. I wouldn't care about getting the true true ending of getting like the cosmic thing or whatever I would but as long as if I could beat the final boss and shoot him with the arrow of light then I would be very happy actually that would be very cool anyway that's the Aoife win exactly that's the Aoife win